Hi everyone, it's Miss K and I am going to be talking you through your next at home project which is wind chimes. So once you have found all your materials, uh, make sure you have those laid out like your knife, um, your skewers, a bowl of water, your clay, um, something for a rolling pin if you don't have a rolling pin like a water bottle and then anything um, you found around your house for textures. I found a pine cone, a seashell, and a crystal for mine and then you'll really want to have that sketch that you did um, laid out so that way you know um, how your pieces are going to be made and cut in your patterns that you're going to put on them. So first things first, make sure you have wedged your clay. I've already wedged mine and to make this a little easier on rolling them out, I am going to separate my clay into sections. So um, if you're doing three today, maybe make three sections, um, but ultimately you'll need nine different pieces. So um, you are going to take one of your sections and you can press it down, get it a little bit more flat, and then you can start rolling. So I'm gonna use my water bottle to roll out my clay. Something about clay, it kinda likes to be pushed in one direction, so make sure you are going in one direction. If you kinda go back and forth, clay kinda likes to get stuck. You can pick it up, flip it, and you'll want your clay to be about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want it too thin um, or else the pieces might break. But you also don't want it too thick. And if you have any um, little marks on there, you can use your water, kind of smooth them out. Then I'm gonna take my knife and create my shape. Looking at my sketch, I have these kind of leaf shapes that I'm going to make into twists. So I cut my shape out, you can put the excess clay over here, you can add it to more of your pieces if you um, would like. You can kind of smooth out your edges with some water. Then I am going to add my pattern and my texture on there. I'm going to use my crystal down here, make a little bit of a texture. I was seeing blue and a lot of swirls in my pattern during my meditation. So I kind of have this ocean theme going on with my wind chime and my mood and meditation. And then I'm gonna add some seashells. I feel like I'm thinking about the ocean so much because it's so cold here, I need some warmth. All right, and then lastly, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to have that hole in your piece of how it's gonna hang. You don't want it too far to the top because it might be too brittle and snap. So make sure that it is maybe about half an inch down. You can use your thick skewer because we wanna make sure that our string will be able to fit through there and make a good size hole. And then I'm going to twist mine. Now you can add patterns on the front and back. Because I was twisting mine, I did not add a pattern to the back of mine since it's gonna be a little closed in with this twist that I have going on. And just really make sure that hole is big enough for your string. Once you have a pattern piece done, you may leave it out. If you um, ha have not finished your pieces or your patterns on them, make sure to bag up your clay so that way it does not dry out. And yeah, you can get started on make creating your pieces.